tune in. Make sure you 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 tune in. Hey, welcome back to Riley's Couch. You know who it is. I'm your one and only host, Riley Ross. Hey, guys. I hope your weekend was popping. But before we get into anything, I just want to make this statement real fast. Make sure you all send prayers up for Bobby Christina. You know, we all know that she's in the hospital. Um, I'm just, you know, praying for healing, peace, strength, and direction. You know, my heart aches for her. Losing a parent is a very heartbreaking ordeal and takes a real emotional toll on you. With the anniversary of Whitney's death right around the corner, I know it heightens the already difficult time. And I just pray she has a full and speedy recovery. With that being said, I know you guys watch the Super Bowl. So I don't have a team, but I chose to go with the Seahawks. I was rooting for them. And they had it. It was right there. How could you do a pass play? How could you do that? You got your man's right here. Beast mode. He could have just ran it. Like, I don't even understand it. They ain't even my team. But if y'all would have saw me, I was so hyped. I was so mad. Like, they was my team. But Patriots won. Got to give it to them. So congratulations to the Patriots, all the Patriots fans out there. But they, I must say, that was a good Super Bowl game. I can't front. It was a good game. And let's talk about halftime. Okay? Missy, Miss Demina Elliott. What? I knew that once you heard the rumors, I was like, yes, Missy is going to perform. And she helped it. I mean, she did not miss a beat. She still got it. Missy, come on. Could you please just drop an album for us one time? Just one time. I mean, I just wanted more. (laughs) I'm just going to sit patiently and wait and hope that she dropping the album soon. Katy Perry also brought out Lenny Kravitz. I love Lenny Kravitz. He did it. He did his thing. Always. to do. They did the duet, I Kissed the Girl. Love Lenny Kravitz. And Katy Perry, you know, I don't really know what to expect from Katy Perry, but her performance was very Katy Perry. It was, like, really animated, and I love the way she came out, I'm going to say. And the production was amazing. I love the stage. I think she did a good job overall, though. So, you know, I had to talk about Scandal, because it is bizarre. So Scandal's back on, and you know, I was glued to the TV. I don't know how to feel about Scandal right now. I mean, I was kind of like, I mean, it's good. Don't get me wrong. Scandal was always good. But I was just like, man, they took her. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. You know, it's only the first episode back. But we'll see what happens. Of course, we know she ain't going to die, because if she died, the show was over. But... <laughs> I don't know, but did you guys watch How to Get Away with Murder? Yes. I knew it wasn't going to be that easy. She wins the case and it all go away. It's about to get turned up, though. Mass Soup is back on, but I'm kind of tight that it's only like, what they say yesterday? Two or three episodes before the season finale? Going to go on a break and then come back for a couple of episodes. Man. Y'all should have just played the rest of the episodes and went on break. Anywho, let's get into Riley's Hot Seat. Viola Davis and Uzo Aduba. Y'all know Crazy Eyes from Orange is New Black. Yes. They made history at the SAG Awards. They both brung home the Outstanding Performance by a Female Actress Award. And Orange is the New Black also won for Outstanding Performance by an Assemble in a Comedy Series. So congratulations to them. I'm so happy to see women out here winning. So Ludacris wins the custody battle. And he has been appointed primary custody of his one-year-old daughter with Tamika Fuller. Remember I told you guys like a week or two ago that she was saying he only got married so that he could win the case? Well, whether that was the reason or not, he got primary custody. So as we all know, the drama with Young Money, Lil Wayne, and Birdman, Lil Wayne stayed true to his promises. He filed a lawsuit against Birdman and Young Money record label. Originally, it was reported he was suing for the $8 million advancement he was owed for the Carter Five. Well, my how things have changed. He is now suing to be released from his contract and for $51 million. The 21-page lawsuit has surfaced and Wayne now wants the judge to declare 
He's the joint copyright owner of all Young Money recordings, including Drake, Nicki Minaj, and several others. He was supposed to get paid $8 million when he began recording back in December of 2013, an additional $2 million after the album was completed, and he hasn't received a dime, which violates his contract. Since Birdman won't run him his money, he wants out. Can't blame the man. I mean, it's so sad because they built... You know this empire together and everybody knows like Birdman, Lil Wayne, it's like, you know, he called him his daddy, you know, he called Wayne his son. And for it to like be coming to an end like this, hopefully they can resolve the issue and Birdman pay the man. Like, you know, if it's in his contract, you gotta pay him. Whatever the issues are, I hope they could work it out. But hey, we'll see what happens. So fifty cent is back in the news again. He is being accused of being a woman beater again. And this time by his ex tatted up Holly. So if you don't know, she posted a pic on Instagram Thursday of an alleged text message combo between the two and threatened to release pictures as proof of the alleged abuse. She claims he used to be her and called him a manipulative woman beater. This all started when 50 posted an article who referred to Holly as his girl and a winner. 50 then called her a hoe, which she caught wind of. The photo has since been deleted from his Instagram. This isn't the first time either he's been labeled an abuser. He was accused of kicking his second baby mother in the stomach and tearing up things in her condo. And his firstborn mother also revealed in a radio interview he used to be her as well. Mm-mm-mm. I don't know what's going on out here. I don't understand why these men can't keep their hands to themselves. Just walk away. Walk away. I got to talk about my boy Jay-Z. Jay-Z buys a sparrow, a Scandinavian music streaming company, for $56 million. You talking about somebody is winning? Didn't he just make an investment? No, he bought the champagne not too long ago. Making moves. He ain't worried about none of y'all out here saying he is out here making deals and making money. That's the way to get it. <laughs> That's why he my boy. Suge Knight turned himself in at 3 a.m. Friday morning and is being held on a $2 million bail for a fatal hit and run in Compton on Thursday. It's been reported he ran over and killed a friend in an actor who some are saying is Terry Carter. Another man, Clay Sloan, was also injured in the incident and hospitalized, but is said to be stable. It all began when Suge showed up to the set of the NWA biopic and was asked to leave, which he refused, and a fight broke out. It ended with Suge hopping in his car and while backing up, ran over Terry, who was allegedly attempting to get back in the truck. So now he's facing murder charges. Condolences go out to the family. Warren Sapp, former NFLer, has been arrested for getting busted for soliciting a prostitute and assault. According to E, law enforcement police officers were contacted around 2.30 a.m. by a female at a Phoenix hotel who alleged she had been assaulted when an argument about money turned physical. Police detained Sapp and questioned him, and during his interview, he admitted he was involved in the act of prostitution. He denied assaulting any females at the scene. He was later then transported to the Maricopa County Jail and booked on charges of soliciting prostitution and two counts of assault. And not only to add insult to injury, NFL Net VP of Communications, Alex Rithmiller, released a statement saying Warren Sapp's contract has been terminated and he no longer works for the NFL Network. Things do not go his way at all. That really sucks. Not only are you fighting charges for prostitution and assault, you now have no job at all. But can I say, that's the Jail Time Chronicles. Now, this is the one I want to get to. Kyle of Jagged Edge. He was arrested for shoving an engagement ring down his fiance's throat. Yes, y'all heard me right. He was arrested Thursday morning on aggravated assault charges. He choked her with a scarf and shoved her engagement ring down her throat. His fiance claims he beat her up after they got into an argument about his drinking. When she tried to get help, Kyle then smashed her phone and took her car keys away. She was 
only able to get help after she began to agree with him, which ultimately he became calm and she was able to run to a neighbor's house for help. Though she says the argument was over his drinking, Kyle claims he got angry at her because his father had cancer. I just hope she doesn't go back to him. I really hope like she leaves him and never ever goes back. Like he was trying to kill her. I think if she wouldn't have been, you know, if she wouldn't have started agreeing with him, this could be a whole different charge. This could be a whole nother case because from the sound of her injuries, like how you going to, how you choke your fiance and then take her ring and stuff it down her throat. You really think I'm going to marry you after that? What is wrong with these men out here? I'm not understanding. Walk away. Just walk away. You pretty much were trying to kill her. And from the way it sounds, I wouldn't be surprised if you were drunk. That's crazy. He was really trying to kill her. And his answer for why he did it makes no sense at all. What do beating on her have to do with your father having cancer or had cancer? I don't even know what i don't know it don't even make no sense to me but i just hope if i was her i would press charges to the fullest extent i would get a restraining order on him i would be suing him i would go to the fullest extent for everything and that's what she needs to do and she needs to leave him so on a better note serena williams won her 19th grand slam title at australian open what a way to start black history month i mean come on she's just making history again so this makes her the oldest woman in the open era to win the tournament and she now ranks second among winners of grand slam titles in the open era can we give it up for serena williams i mean for real come on t so is back guys with two new singles i'm sorry i am getting hyped <laughs> So he has a new single called Time Machine and things have changed. So make sure you head over to his SoundCloud where you can currently listen to those two. Demetria McKinney, for all you guys who watch uh, Real Housewives of Atlanta, she has a new single called Trade It All off of her upcoming EP called Officially Yours. Make sure you guys check her out. She also has two other singles out. One called 100 Future in the Brat and the other one is called Work With Me. So check that out as well. Joe to see. Ooh yeah. Ooh yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry y'all. <laughs> Joe to see is back. Could you believe it? Joe to see. Some of y'all might not even know who Joe to see is. But Joe to see is a group from back way back in the day from like the 90s they was really popping but they have a new single called every moment so make sure you guys head over and check them out see what it's sounding like and of course meek mill is back with his song b-boy future and big sean asap ferg make sure y'all check that out Elvana is back and sassy as ever with where your man is so if you haven't heard that track make sure you go and check it out especially the ladies big sean has a new track out off his upcoming album called blessings future and drake he also has a remix with kanye so if you haven't heard it make sure you listen to it actually if you're listening you already heard some of it because i'm playing it in the beginning of this track Uh huh. Miss Deborah Cox is back with a new single called Kinda Miss You. If you haven't heard that, make sure you go and check her out. And Neo dropped his album Tuesday, Nonfiction. So if you haven't, make sure you head over to iTunes or to Target and buy his album. Sada K, an artist out of LA, also dropped her album, but you can purchase it on iTunes called Long Story Short. So if you don't know who she is, make sure you look her up and go check her out. Be sure to head out and pick up Kid Ink's new album, Full Speed. Also, Slim Thugger dropped his album, Hog Life, The Beginning. Make sure y'all head out and pick that up so you could get trill with it. And Juicy J also dropped his mixtape, Pure Juicy, so you know you're ready to get crunk. Definitely go and get that as well. 
So yeah, guys, I have an indie artist of the week for you. And this artist is Mercy. Mercy is an artist who hails out of Southern Florida, who spits hip hop on the mic. His latest project, Mercy Bicoop, includes four tracks a project he released to show appreciation to his fans. He also has an eight-track EP inside of Prelude, which features underground hip-hop artists Ali Vegas, Sky Zoo, Planet Asia, and Tri-State. He has an upcoming project, Prestige 3, on the way. But in the meantime, make sure you head over and support the illustrious artist and check out his latest music. Here's a snippet for you guys. Back to the block, nigga. Yeah. Now Bobby bitch, bitch. to the hot, nigga. Uh. Uh. Watch for the cops, nigga. Lights down, everyone's mic behind the yeah. shot, niggas. Yeah. I'm laying in the drop, pockets got bigger. Uh. I'm saying when I'm hot, melting pots quicker. Yeah. You could put my motherfucking name on it. Big Daddy King, point slick, big chains on it. Uh. Pop a lot of shit, hotter than the bottom shit. Bullets come down to same size, it's a rocket shit. Grew up in Scarface, uh. Godfather shit, casino. Good fellas, and a lot of chicks. Yeah. I done a lot of battle, what's the product of it? Yeah. But getting money proof to be more prominent Y'all been chasing pussy I did the opposite The team strong dream on the nightmare Follow me From the south in the watch I see In the flex zone in the all white team And I don't care if you don't like me Niggas gonna hate but they won't try me Get for some gold and a change pricey Niggas in the zone that we all grind me And I don't care if you don't like me The day you try okay. me will be unlikely Merci beaucoup Yeah. Yeah. Pockets looking slim, money heavy on the mind. Heavy me, heavy G, I'm heavy on the grind. Henny C, plenty weed, help me through this time. Melodies, memories, y'all remember why? Get my life in order. Life is order, got these ladies wet, never had a problem finding water. Kept my head above, my head above, I was swimming in. Some poison love, it was killing me You could call it murder Death for the future where you can't see no further Living in the past, I was chasing ghosts Nothing ever lasts, kisses made of roses Then you separate, the ways of Moses Your night falls, and your day approaches Miss Chat, I know you miss that The good times, you never get back I keep falling, but I can't turn back. I'm trying to. <laughs> yeah. Wanna test the guy? Exercise, have to stretch those thighs. Call mercy, I could be your trainer. Food for thought, and that's no brainer. Keys to the city, don't need no mayor. Hard on the surface, ain't a break the layer. Caramel skinning, Hershey kisses. Baby, you sweet, mercy licious. Blow your candles out more than birthday wishes. Lights out, come and get that mercy business. Netflix and pizza. Sex reefer, uh, uh, undress the diva, but less of features, respect the ether. Woo. Netflix a pizza. <laughs> Survival of the fittest, for any rifle, no suicidal. Once you pass a line of scrimmage, eye for an eye, your beef is mine. Made it go blind as an eyewitness. Yeah, one time for the night shifters. 
to the killers and the hundred dollar billers. The ill niggas got the cure for the sickness. Mercy got you stuck off the illness. It be the infamous, the luxury, stuff of a beef. Who pulled to be the hungriest? Yeah. It better be immersed. Thug raps, nice hats, and heavy C shirts. Bandana down, 40 inch cables. Slap niggas, better hope God save you. With five figures, this figure, you facial. Got it twisted, get lifted by angels. You can find Mercy on Twitter, and also you can listen to his music on SoundCloud, Bandcamp, and Audio Mac. I will leave the links in the subscription so you guys can check him out. And as always, my love, I will leave you off with a quote. We cannot grow and flourish when we are surrounded by negative and doubtful energy and pessimism. Be mindful of what and who you are keeping close. Once dreams and ambitions will not come to pass when they are suffocated in fear. Keep people around you who will challenge you to go for it. Who will encourage you to rise up and be smart about taking on a new venture, journey, or stage in life. The you can't, you shouldn't, don't do it people should be kept at a distance. Alex L. And if you don't know Alex L, guys, see, I don't really ever do this. But Alex L is an author that I follow. Make sure you guys check her out. If you like the inspirational quotes that I give and things and you're looking for some daily inspiration, you can also follow me as well because I'm always posting inspirational stuff for you guys. But you can definitely check her out. She travels and she does different events and she has book signings. She also has two books on Amazon. If you look her up, you can find her on Instagram her name is Alex L. Uh, I'll leave her info in the bottom for you guys as well. Make sure you check her out. All right, loves. I will talk with you next week. I'm out.